All right, gamers. What the heck is going on here? Whoa, whoa. That's not what I want. There you go. Oh, that's their mother. I thought they looked pretty different. Now they're gonna get pancakes. No, no, no. Tell me right now how they're holding that fork. They, they aren't holding that. They're using magic. They aren't holding that fork. You can't tell me that's the, that's not the end of their sleeve unless their hand is bent at a bizarre angle. Are they stabbing themselves? Flaming hat? I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. I a lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? No. Oh? What's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? I do like pancakes. I do like pancakes. Me too! On my last birthday, I ate ten of them. I was so full, I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes. Some of the neighbors make really good noodles. Oh, and one of my neighbors uh, made a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Oh, do they share my food with you? Hmm. That's a good question, do they? I don't think neighbors ordinarily do so, so I'll say no. That's not very nice of them. Our neighbors and my mom and take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if you're worried about me. Yeah, speaking of me, it's probably doing it. I'm so glad that let me change the name. The Flaming Hat. This game is wonderful. Like I have to say, I was skeptical when I was first looking at it. I was really skeptical. I don't regret my choice at all. You know, to get the game. I hope this helps you grow a little seed. The seed's in the soil, but it looks a little dry. Good thing I have water. Good thinking, Flaming Hat. Water should help the seed grow. Hmm. The dirt's nice and moist now. What if it dries out? There's almost so much water from this little tube. Hold on to the tube now, just in case. He's giving it dirt and water, but will that be enough? That man said something about magnets, but I don't see a way to fit these in the panel by themselves. I can't combine those. The mags don't stick to the aluminum. I'm losing so much time. Probably 90 minutes already. I hate this. Alright. My solution has arrived. Oh, maybe we can make a button out of this. We can cut a piece of the can and fold it into a rectangular shape, just like arts and crafts. Hmm, I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are we going to connect it with the elevator? Let's find out. The magnets don't stick to the aluminum, but oh, what if I fold the magnet under the edge? Hmm, it's holding together. I think that's good enough. Alright, let's hope this works. Button fuel fits snugly, and I think I hear the machine powering on. 
one completely fell apart. Hey, at least to try. Oh well. Darn it, back to the walkthrough. Alright, finally we get to use this. I wasn't sure when we were going to get to use it, but we have to use it. Tape dispenser. Oh, I called it together tape. I should have done this in the first place. Probably. But it's fine, because now we get to get out of here. Let's hope this works. Oh, that's... weird. Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. What? That's never happened before. Should I forgot his voice? The squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They're on the door and... Oh, nah. Squares stuff happens all the time. I mean, the whole security code thing. Then again, the elevator hasn't been misbroken before. Hmm. I should look for a code. Mm -hmm. You should? Weird, because I'm pretty sure. 63014. I've done it. What? It it works. I don't know what you did, but it works. Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Flaming Hat, too. Oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? We'll be up ahead. Oh, thank you for holding the elevator door for me, mister. No problem. Hop in. Sure is taking a while. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness gracious, I'm stuck with the Messiah in the elevator and also literally got himself. This is awkward. Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then? You, uh, you heard me? I mean, sure. Alright, play me hat, should I? <laughs> Resume awkward silence. So, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights, mostly. I deliver and refill that high-energy fall circuit to structures that need them. High-energy? You know, the super-concentrated glowy stuff they uh, process factories. It's what powers most of the city's stuff. Oh! We used to have a small army of delivery- Oh, shoot. We used to have a small army of delivery bots doing that. Lately, a bunch of them have been breaking down. So until we fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea, actually. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. They seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign the smart folks are worried. Alright, Flaming Hat. This city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded, too. First there is refugees in the barrens, and now more Lund folks are moving in too. Oh? It's just safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. That square stuff that we just saw, we get more fat here than anywhere else, apparently. I notice. Lucky it seems only a fact to the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself still holding up, which is good since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Alright, Flaming Hatch, I. Ask about the library. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, it's one of my main delivery spots. Well, those reading lights are pretty high maintenance. 
but I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Guess you're pretty smart, since so you'll fit in fun. You and Flaming Hat. Well, I wanted to continue the awkward silence. Anyway, it was uh, nice to meet you all. Nico! Right, uh, see you around, kid. Gotta run now. He seems in a hurry. Guess we should hurry too, Flaming Hat. People are counting us. Let's go find that library. Beep boop. Beep boop. Sigh. You alright? Ah, uh, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I, I think, I think I should listen to Flaming Hat. After all, Flaming Hat got me this far. I shall take your faith as an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. A street lamp. Wait, is this where I'm meant to go? That, that was Nico's true form. Flaming Hat, did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second. I saw something, like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. Where are we? It's Faded Flyer. It's faded Flyer. Curious mark on the wall. Looks like a ramp. Interesting. Strangely warm in this room. This one. It's a cat. It's a cat. Why do you have cats? Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk with four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your head is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost. I've got flaming hat to guide me. I see. It's warm here. Yeah. This was my original purpose. Watching cats? Warmth. Oh, it's a nice purpose. Yellow. Oh, you look tired. Do you wish to rest? I can't sleep now. Flaming Hat and I got stuff to do. Yeah, you tell him, Nico. I see. Nico's totally gonna go back there and sleep. I swear, they've been awake for, what, 13 minutes? Calm down, Nico. Okay, there's a lot over here, so I'm assuming I'm actually going to need to go back down there. You, Glory. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard some about the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Yeah, it sounds smart. It's a sink. Sounds smart. You. Evening news. Evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No? Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Er... Aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right.
Evening news, evening news. Maintenance is struggling to fix the major pipeline collapse in the north sector. Likelihood of imminent water shortage in the inner city is now 84.2%. The Messiah is currently speaking to Newsbot Unit 28, which is me. Hello, Messiah. Hi! Disturbance was detected from ground access elevator on Main Street. However, the issue quickly resolved itself before investigations could take place. The library released several new books by the elusive author last week. The head librarian recommends them. The system librarian had no comic as he reportedly fled the scene sobbing. The reception had no comic either because the receptionist is a robot. Maintenance is struggling to fix the major pipeline collapse in North Snow. So it looks like it's either repeating or random now. So many places to go. Yo. I don't I don't even know where I wanna go. There's so much. Hello person, library's up ahead. Thanks. I'm overwhelmed by the choice I feel like I have. The world ends, but it'd be better if it was gone an instant or slowly fading away. To be honest, I'd rather the former. Neato. You. What? What? I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at the book. Yes, you're in the library. There's books in the library. Um, go by the child one upstairs. You. Yeah. Well, those books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. He's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. Pile of books in the room. Oh, books on the ground. Books are neatly placed on the shelf. Come on. Picture. Some sort of plaque. Hello, person. Hi. Me shelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Yep, still scared of ladders. Coward, coward. The computer, it's currently off. What if Nico died and they died from a ladder? Oh, hello, do you need directions? Let's see, this area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section's downstairs, and uh, not sure where the children's section is, sorry. That's okay, I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the offer then? Yeah. That's good. I mean, I've been looking for this I've been volunteering here for months. I haven't seen him for months. Works with the head librarian of the Pigeons. He doesn't? He's a bit closer, which is weird for guys who supposedly travel to work. He's just around people. You, who are you? The offer is so cool. I heard you can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow! Plot twist, I'm the offer. Look, that's like the head person photo of some plants. That's gonna be the receptionist. Some sort of plaque. This must be the kids section. So what do you think of the offer? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Big book with black clo clover on the front. Title says, A Comprehensive Guide to... F to oh, sorry. Oh, what? Shoot. I accidentally went through the whole thing. As a general rule, the false loses its glow entirely and cannot be relit with less exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. 
Even so, the boosted software will never return to its original brightness. Chapter 5 A survey of fossils found in the natural world. Blue fossil. One of the most common fossils, blue fossil, fossil, is of moderate levels of energy. It can exist in both organic and mineral forms. The mineral is the most commonly found in metallic sand in the barrens. The organic form is most commonly found in fossil shrimp and their secretions. Although the light emission of blue fossil is powerful, it has what I would describe as self conserving properties. That is to say, the glow must not be constant. Most forms of blue fossil start glowing if left undisturbed for long periods of time. If using blue sulfur to power machines, the motor should be set at a baseline level of activity to ensure constant aggression of the fossil. Alternatively, live fossil shrimp can, shrimp can be used. So let's go to the next color, shall we? Green fossil. Location, the blend. Of the three common fossils, green is of the highest energy. As most of the rarest of common fossils, as it can only be found in the form. Known sources include the soft phosphor trees, fireflies, and various mosses. The least phosphor is present, present in the ubiquitous ground covering moss and bloom. It is only in minute amounts and almost impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use, however, due to its relative scarcity and passed over harvesting, there is currently no reliable source. Thankfully, at least locals of blend have enough to get by. Red fossil, located the refuge. One of the common fossils, red fossil is the lowest energy. It exists exclusively in mineral form. It can only give light when in solution. The dilute red fossil, abundant in the city's water channels, can be concentrated and induced with currents. This can create an artificial high energy state with greater luminosity. One major caveat is the phosphor in this supersaturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. So if the phosphor recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. If using red phosphor as a power source, make sure there are proper facilities or services that can replace it frequently. Interesting. Lawfare's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big compendiums. You'll see if you look around. Kinda different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. What if Lawfare's just a bunch of people and that's why they write everything? Lawfare publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he's put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. In the head librarian, there's still a huge, large amount of material he's written, but not yet published. We cannot help to wonder where he can get so much done, or where he can get so much done in so little time. In the calculations, the numbers simply don't add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is it actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. You're going through those pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? No, Alfred doesn't only write books. He also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat! That's like looking at pictures. Same? I haven't seen any superheroes in this world. I saw a lot of robots, though. I guess robots are more plausible than superpowers. True. There's a couple of books in this room that aren't occupied yet. I need for someone takes them. Oh, and picture books, those too. I like pictures. Oh, there's another book here I haven't grabbed, so I'm so... I used to probably grab it. Big book with a black clover on the cover. Tumble says, Emergent of new ecological niches in a post-sun world. Phosphorus shrimp, also known as seed shrimp, and certain Vinicolas, due to the shape of their transparent coat, these aquatic invertebrates are the most abundant life form in the ocean surrounding the barrens. Dorsal phosphor glands, abdominal phosphor organ, common firefly, 
nocturnal beetle, vibrant glow, sometimes captured in massive, and put in jars to be used as living lamps by the Glen's residents. This inspired the now common practice of using foster shrimps to do the same. Neato. Now I know that I can talk to people twice. You. Please glare at me. I don't think we should bother in Flaming Hat. This is why library is really so packed. This is a slow day, mind you. I mean, I don't think many people ever see him in person. I know what he looks like. Everyone's heard of him through secondary counselor. Oh, but he did reply to my letter that one time. Got a friend immediately. Nice. Hello, person. I'm really giving myself a workout for this dialogue I'm reading. Coffee machine, that's nice. Do you need something? Please approach from the front. I'm on my third cup. Can't feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake. Need to find out those bookends. Um, first offering is beautiful cliffhangers. I'm a third. Mm -hmm. Sounds like this offer might be dangerous. He's, uh, doing that. Excuse me. Oh, you are the messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library in the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Um... Well, uh... She is not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival phone upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the staircase behind me. Gotcha, thanks! Finally, someone who gives the messiah proper rights. You, who are you? Um, what are you doing that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled off the shelves to modify them. I had to cross out some sections. More sections? Eh? How come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The offer. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is going to write about the same thing. And everyone will love it. And nobody's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh... I mean, I ain't hate him. I see why people go nuts over his stuff. The guy's got major talent. But... It just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you copycat for something you wrote about first. You can see that. People call me a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person, cats are pets. And mousers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Oh, you totally eat mice. Don't even try to trick us. Yeah. Guess we're in the same boat then, kiddo. I think I've changed at least half a book's worth of content. Even then, it's still too similar. Looks like I'll have to accept my fate. Well, I guess being called a cat isn't that bad. As long as people don't assume you eat mice. Yeah, you eat mice. Don't even try to trick me. I know. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card. I don't have a library card though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oh, nice. Wait, can I just walk by while they're calling? Yo. You can move while they're calling. You don't have to wait. 
Nico, she is not picking up. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Then you through. Found a library card. It's against my programming. What? Is it an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. Sigh. So I'm guessing you don't give out library cards? I only handle book transactions. There are people who already possess cards. Huh. To acquire a card, you need to contact the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Don't! I know, I know. So... I... Can I, like, steal a card from somebody? Can I put something in this guy's coffee? I'm kinda lost. Guess more exploring? Ooh, but we, we've been going for quite a bit. I think we're gonna have to stop here, and then next time we're gonna be playing some more one shot because oh my gosh, I love this game. Alright, thank you all for watching, because I'll see you all next time.